Team Frank and Merck here again. I figure since I'm sitting on a boat and a order from Bass Pro Shops came in, I might as well unbox it. This should be some weights and some uh, KVD 1.5s. So, I picked up some little uh, 1 16th ounce uh, finesse weights for uh, fishing with uh, my Senkos and uh, some flukes with, uh, pegging them up the line a little bit. Um, they're supposed to have a larger hole for making the pegging easier. We'll see how it works. Bass Pro Shop learning an XPS. Never know. Haven't used them yet. I uh, also picked up some uh, tungsten nail weights, a uh, Bass Pro brand, 132nd ounce. If anybody has any suggestions on which ones to get, these are two I haven't used yet, so uh, I wanted to be able to peg an end of uh, either uh, a Cinco or uh, a Trick Worm or something. I was putting in an order anyways, using my, my reward points. So, I picked up three uh, KVD 1.5s, uh, square bill crankbaits. Um, these are the, I believe, the, the Silence. Um, the first one, what color is this? Orange belly crawl. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. My preview of my phone's not working right now. I'm still working through the, the technical difficulties. I'll just open them actually. Make sure we're really good with the review. Orange belly crawl. I have not thrown these before. After watching some videos online, I really wanted some. Um, Good looking bait. Square bill it comes with the uh, oval split ring, looks like. The next one is a neon bluegill. See how this light does out here. I just put it up trying to get some light in my carport. I'm tired of tying knots at night with the headlamp on. And the third one, gold black back. I fish a Spencer Lake a decent amount and a little special lake by where my shop is and I'm not going to say the name of it. But I think this guy is going to do wonders there. These dive three to five feet. It's got some nice, nice weight to it. KVD 1.5 made by Strike King. Pretty nice. I have not thrown one yet. I can't wait. Uh, one other thing. I got a killer deal a while back. Um, if you ever walk into a shop, okay, and you just you see something and don't don't be afraid to ask. The worst thing that can happen is they say no. I got a thing of Power Pro, three thousand yards, three thousand yards. It was brand new, twenty pound test Power Pro. It had the plastic wrap on it and everything. And I asked them how much they wanted for the whole thing because I didn't want to buy two um, small. Um, what they had, they had 150 yarders, and they wanted 15 or 20, they wanted 20 bucks a piece. It was um, Scott McLennan's in Belfair, and the guy came out and said 25 bucks. So I know a name called out there. I don't care, but uh, it never hurts to ask because their mistake is your capital, or their mistake is your your prize right there. Normally 12 cents a yard. I think they would have they would have 
charged 300 and something after tax, they would have been like 390 or 380, ah. depending on what they would have done if they would have sold it all by the yard. So I got it for 25 bucks before tax, and it was brand new. You can't go wrong. Just ask. Well, I'm gonna do. Uh, since I have the camera out and I have the rod locker open, I will actually give you a quick view of uh, just uh, the deck and the, the console. <coughs> I got a couple baits out. Rod locker. There's the giveaway. Get into that. A couple new rods. Cabell's had a clearance. Okay. A lot more deck space. I got a Minn Kota 4 Trex 101 on the front. I got a HDS 8 on the console. I got a HDS 7 on the on the on the front. I got a Mercury 250 Pro XP or XS. I'm sorry, XS. Pushing this beast. And uh, it's just awesome. So get out there and fish. You'll love it. Um, I do have a kayak too. Got that at uh, Costco. Um, still getting into that. It's hanging. Used it once or twice. I do not have any video from it yet. But video is coming soon. Let's see how she goes. Alright guys, gals, tight lines, and uh, again, see you shortly.